Okay guys, this is Jason with FPV Model. Today what we want to do is we want to give you a quick look at the Skyzo TS58500 32 channel mini video transmitter. Whoa, that's a lot to say. Okay, anyways, let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and take a look at the box. As you can see on the packaging here, the video transmitter is good for anywhere between 7 to 24 volts. Uh, your cables will plug on this side, so it also gives you the uh, gives you the layout of the pins, which are ground, audio, video, and ground again. And let's go ahead and open the box up. Now, inside the package, you're going to get one antenna, which most of you will probably opt not to use. Uh, you will also get the mini 32-channel video transmitter. Let's just uh, do a real quick comparison here. What I've got is I've got a typical uh, SD card. Uh, this one's a mini stuck in a uh, scan disk adapter for the regular size SD cards. But as you can see, uh, they're almost almost the same size. The transmitter is just a little bit larger. Of course, it is thicker than the SD card, but uh, Area-wise, here on the uh, on the top of it, you can tell that they're running about the same size. So, let's go ahead and take a look inside the inside the box. One, we've got a manual. Uh, we've got a set of cables here, and let's bring the other cables out. So, we're going to have three sets of cables. Now, you get your color-coded cables. Uh, that will plug into the transmitter showing your red, your black, white, yellow, and black again, which is naturally going to be power, ground, uh, audio, video, and ground. Uh, nice to have them color coded, but these are the old style of wires and they're really not, they're really not that soft and malleable. So uh, if you like the color coded ones, it does come with it. Personally, I prefer the um, Personally, I prefer the silicone coated wires. A little more flexible, easier to use, don't have to worry about uh, breaking them as easily. And if you just follow your pinout diagram from the transmitter, it'll be easy to track those, uh, track those cables to where you need to connect them to. So let's move on to the third cable, which is also the silicone coated uh, cables. And you have a power line for your for your transmitter and you also have a connector for your GoPro camera which we have here so the only thing you would have to do is just connect that right to your GoPro connect a power source for your video transmitter and you are good to go so let's get away from the uh, cables real quick and take a look at the manual uh, on the manual you can see the diagram here. Uh, you have a diagram for your frequency and your channel selection. In your manual uh, it also gives you the table and the frequency settings corresponding with each band and fre channel frequency. Which you also get that on the back of your transmitter. Uh, this will show you what position to align the dip switches in for the four frequency bands and the eight channels. Changing from one frequency to another will give you a whole series of eight different frequencies. So uh, let's go ahead and connect the antenna which as I mentioned before most of you will probably opt not to use this antenna because really they're just they're not that great. So you'll probably move on to a clover leaf or something of the sorts. But here we go. Let's take this. Uh, we got the GoPro cable here. One thing I noticed about this that I would like to mention is whenever you first connect it to the uh, whenever you first connect it to the transmitter, it really feels like it really feels like it locks into place, but it comes out very easily. So whenever you get it in there, make sure make sure you get it in there, and then take your thumb and apply a little bit of pressure. So you know that that uh, so you know that that cable is locked into place well. So once you do that, you can connect it to your GoPro, or if you choose to just connect to a typical board camera or something, 
you can use this cable and solder on to solder on to your power source and your camera. Uh, either way, you've got options with these cables, which is nice. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and if you have any questions, you can send me a message, Jason at FPV Model, or you can just leave a comment in the comment box below. Thank you.